2,000 pounds, 20 feet tall, and about to take over Broadway? It's King Kong! The musical version of the epic story, let's call it the newest wonder of the world, follows a young actress played by Christiane Pitts, a dashing filmmaker and a voyage from 1930s New York to an uncharted island in search of something big. And the gorilla sings. No, it doesn't. Less interested. So my first uh, introduction to King Kong was the 2005 film directed by Peter Jackson, starring Naomi Watts, who I love. And I was obsessed with her beauty, her strength. I then watched the original, 1931 it came out, uh, with Fay Ray, who's stunning. It's just a classic American tale. And here we are, 2018, and it's still gonna affect people, I think, in a strong way. Everyone knows the iconic image of eighth wonder of the world, King Kong, climbing the Empire State Building, clutching a terrified Anne Darrow in his fist. With a script by Jack Thorne, the Tony Award-winning playwright of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, the Broadway King Kong looks to provide a compelling backstory to the classic damsel in distress character. Jack Thorne has written a script that explores every bit of her life, and unlike other versions, she actually saves herself. She doesn't wait for anybody to come rescue her. She rolls up her sleeves and figures out how to do it on her own. Pitts is the first actress of color to play classic American beauty and Darrow on a big scale. They casted me in a very color conscious way. As a woman of color in 1930s, my circumstances were vastly different. And it's exciting to bring that to this character, to know that in order to make it to New York City from this farm and start her big new life, as a black woman in 1930, I had to go through a hell of a lot to get there. I'm just honored that they are not asking me to hide things that make my Ann Darrow unique and strong. After premiering in Australia in 2013, producers have revamped the show's creative team for Broadway, including the addition of Olivier Award winner Drew McOney as the new director choreographer and up and coming composer Eddie Perfect providing the musical songs. Pitts says the production is sure to wow audiences. It's the biggest thing I've ever been a part of. Um, when I do scenes with Kong and he's literally standing over me, I just sit on the brakes and I stand looking at his 2,000 pound body. And I'm like, this is so much bigger than me. It's so humbling and exciting. King Kong starts at the Broadway Theater on October 5th.